All right, guys. Well, I have another uh, review for you. This is going to be on the watch I showed in my EDC uh, update video. Absolutely love this watch. Fell in love with it. Uh, I saw this on County Com's uh, website. Uh, the price I thought was very reasonable. They were asking 115 for this watch, um, and you do get a lot for that price. Um, it's not going to be everyone's, uh, you know, perfect watch. I mean, some people don't want to spend more than 20 or 30 dollars, and that's fine. You know, you can go to Walmart and get a Timex for about 30 bucks, and and probably be very happy with it. Um, this is kind of an upscale watch. It is a little bit of a higher quality watch, um, but it's not going to break the bank. It's not a Rolex. It's not a you know Omega. It's not going to cost you two or three thousand dollars plus. Um, for one hundred and fifteen dollars, I think it's a, it's an excellent value. Uh, it's a Trinium H. Uh, excuse me, H three. Um, it's called the Tracer according to the paperwork you get. But by the way, this is the the manual you get with the uh, the watch. It comes with four languages. It tells you everything you need to know about it. How how to set it and all that kind of stuff. Um, but if you go to County Com's website, you'll find it uh, the title to be Trinium Field Watch. That's it. They don't call it a tracer, but I'm assuming that's just what the model is. Um, this watch comes with this band, which is a Maritac um, mil spec band in uh, gray, kind of an ACU gray color, which comes standard with this watch. Now, if you don't like gray or if you don't want, you want a different band, County Com does uh, offer different bands over there, so you can find something that you know will, will suit your needs. Um, Let's get all the specs out of the way before I kind of talk about the watch, just for the specific watch guys. In my opinion, if it keeps a very good time and um, uh, it looks good, it, it, I'm, it's a sale. You know, I like it. I'm not that concerned with specific movement types. I don't really know that much about watches, you know. But for the watch guys, uh, it's a Ronda 505 Quartz Swiss Movement. Okay, it has the uh, mineral crystal glass uh, front, uh, steel bezel which is right here, the stainless steel bezel, uh, 37 millimeters is the size of the face, or, or watch rather, and it um, has 100 foot uh, water resistance. Okay, so if you're looking for a uh, somewhat of a dive watch, it would probably uh, fit your needs. Unless, of course, you do dive deeper than 100 feet. That would be pushing it. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a very lightweight watch. Uh, I think it's a great everyday carry. I do have uh, heavier, bigger um, flashier watches that I would wear on a special occasion, uh, but I don't really have to worry about this getting really damaged. Um, I mean, I haven't specifically tried to damage it, but just in everyday use, it's been fine. Uh, no scratches on the face at all. Um, it's kept perfect time, down to the second. I mean, literally down to the second. I set this uh, over a month ago when I got it, and I set it according to my time on my cell phone, which, of course, everyone knows is satellite you know, driven, and it's a very accurate time. Um, and it, for the last month plus, it's been perfect. I mean, literally down to the second. So I like that quite a bit, and I think it looks good. Um, very lightweight, as I said. Um, it's got the uh, the date here. If I come in for a macro shot, hopefully we can get this to focus here. There we go. You see, today is the tenth. Okay, so it's keeping good time that way. Uh, I see a little biohazard sign in the middle there. And that's because this does have trinium vials in it. If you're not familiar with trinium, you can look it up on Google. Uh, basically, it's a chemical. It'll glow. It doesn't need any light to, um, uh, to kind of power itself up. Unlike some glow-in-the-dark powders, which are used uh, for various things, um, it, doesn't have, uh, it doesn't need sunlight or any kind of artificial light to power itself. Some glow-in-the-dark things only glow in the dark once you, you know, put it under the light for a little bit. Um, you can have this, you know, in the dark for two weeks straight, and then all of a sudden you take it out in the dark, and it still glows. Uh, the lifespan on Trinium is 10 years, uh, roughly, about, I would say, 9 to 11 years, somewhere in that range, uh, full blast. Um, a lot of people say that about 8 or 9 years later, it kind of goes down to about 50% of its original, um, you know, glowing power. But you, you're going to get a solid 10 years out of it. Um, I would say at least for the first uh, 6 or 7 years, really, really bright. Okay, and very effective. Um, the tritium vials, you have vials from the 1 o'clock position right here all the way to 11. Okay, one for each hour. Uh, so at nighttime you can get a quick visual on what time it is. As well as, uh, by the way, these are all green. The 12 o'clock position is an orange tritium vial. Uh, so you can differentiate between the, um, the 12 o'clock position and the other ones. So let's say you're not wearing the watch, you pull it out of your pocket at night, and you pull it and you look at it like this you'll know this is not 12 o'clock, it'll be orange, so you'll turn it so that you're looking at it properly. Um, also, of course, in the minute hand, or excuse me, the minute hand and the hour hand, uh, you have larger green trium vials as well. And you can see that second hand there, moving around, it does not sweep, it does kind of click, 
Uh, I do prefer watches that kind of you know have a sweeping second hand, but can't have everything. It's still a uh, an excellent timepiece for sure. Now it's gonna be very hard to kind of show you this uh, glow in the dark. Um, you know how it works, trying to cover all the light here. It's a little fuzzy because of the uh, the camera, but you can clearly see that even in dark, it, it's it's glowing. I don't know how well from the video, but you can take my word for it. If you get this uh, in person, you'll see it a lot better. Let's let that focus again. There we go. It does have a black face to it. Okay, the actual watch. Um, so you know you might want to throw a black band on there if you want just a solid looking uh, watch but I actually like the gray quite a bit this Maritech band that came with the watch very easy to set just pull this out one click for the date two clicks for the actual time I don't want to set it because it's, it's on perfect time right now but it's very straightforward very simple watch I absolutely love it um, like I said I mean since I've been using it it hasn't gotten really beat up or anything it's just been a really, really great watch for me, and most important to me, lightweight. Like I said, I do have other watches that are a little heavy for everyday use, and when I'm, you know, doing something, they'll kind of spin around. And this has been perfect. I put this, uh, you know, I adjust it so it's nice and snug on my hand, but not tight. And um, I kind of forget about it. It's very lightweight. I keep saying it's lightweight. I really should have a weight. You know what? Let me grab a. Uh, hold on a second. Let me grab my scale for you. Because I must have said that like 10 times and you go, hmm, okay, well, how lightweight is it? Well, we're going to find out in a second. I actually haven't weighed this since I got it, but let me just make sure I'm in regular ounces here, which I am, and not troy ounces. Okay. All right, so I'm going to weigh this with the watch band on here. It weighs 1.09 ounces. All right, let's do that again, make sure the band is completely on the uh, scale here. I'll put it upside down. Alright, maybe it was hanging off first. Alright, I got 1.23 ounces. So let's try that again, make sure that's accurate. Yeah, alright, so that's the, the measurement. 1.23 ounces, so one and a quarter ounces almost. You really can't beat that. Very lightweight, very high quality, great movement on this watch, and the trinium is very cool. Like I said, for 10 years, it's going to glow nice and bright for you. So, anyway, that's the uh, the Tracer uh, H3. You can get these at Countycom. And again, they do sell um, different bands if you're not, you know, really into this uh, this gray band. But, anyway, thanks for watching the review. I appreciate it, as always. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Take care.